Hey guys, um, I want to preface this with saying that um, I am not necessarily voting Republican. I'm an independent and I definitely am apolitical as possible. Um, I think politics is just an awful thing. Um, but I met someone because I have some signs on my car um, that are very like anti-BLM, not in a um, in an aggressive way, but um, actually I can show you guys here. So it says stop the bandwagon and then how many police officers killed white versus black last year, get the facts, and then it says um, dear BLM stop creating racism, it's not fair to our children. Just so that you guys know that I'm not like, I wasn't saying anything crazy or rude or anything. But anyways, I met this guy um, at the laundromat this evening and we had a really good talk and um, I showed him this video that I made and he like absolutely loved it. He had left and he came back just to tell me like, oh my God. Um, and he told me to look into the walk away movement and he really wants me to repost the video with that hashtag. So I just want to clarify, um, I don't, I'm not a bandwagoner whatsoever. So just because the people that are thinking the way that I am in this very, very moment um, does not mean that I'm going to be, be like pressured in any way to vote Republican or, you know, vote for Trump or anything like that. This is just how I feel, and I feel like it should be shared. Um, if I decide to vote, I will vote because I am educated about both parties and because I really truly feel that my um, my desires and my passions and goals for America the next four years really align with whoever is running. So, here we go. I just found out about the defunding the police in Los Angeles, a hundred million dollars, two nights ago. Um, the next morning, I had a stomach ache that I couldn't get rid of um, until like early evening or whatever. And today is the next day, and I'm just still so sickened by it. I feel like if I go anywhere in public, like the grocery store or the gas station, anywhere I am, I just like, I hate everyone because whether you're black or you're white, the chances of you being a part of this are so high. Whether you posted the black screen on Instagram or you have a Black Lives Matter sign or in any way, shape or form, maybe you went to a protest or you went to a riot. You are part of such an, an enormous problem that I'm hoping is not irreversible, but I'm very, very scared at this moment. I don't know who started all of this, but there's only one of two things that happened. One, somebody saw the murder of George Floyd and looked at him on some level, whether it was deep down and subconscious or on a conscious level, but at some, in some form, they looked at him as less than because of his skin color, therefore assuming that it was racism because if they didn't see people of color being different, then they, that thought wouldn't have even crossed their mind. So I don't know who started this, you're racist, whoever you are. Or, it was all just a joke to somebody. Let me just see how much craziness I can instill in the world. And if that was you, then congratulations, you're doing a great job. When you look at the statistics, like hopefully, well, I can't even say hopefully some of you have because it's obvious that you haven't, but I think it's, I don't know, somewhere between whatever it is, it's less than 20, I believe, per race, but it was like 13 or something. Unarmed white men were killed last year by cops and nine black men. Whatever it is, don't, you know, hold me to those numbers, but. And then 
I remember I saw this one guy, I forgot his name, but he was white and he died with the same exact knee to neck suffocation murder from a white cop a couple of years ago, but that doesn't matter, obviously, because he's white. So if he happened to have been born black, then Lord knows what would have happened a couple years ago. But the fact that you guys are just assuming that it's race is so fucking damaging to my country and to me. I, I'm looking, I'm noticing race now when there's an interracial couple, I see it. I didn't notice that stuff a few months ago. I see, I had a conversation with someone on Instagram who is like either white or Latino and he was on a podium talking about love with goodness in his heart, but he was supporting the Black Lives Movement. And I was talking to him about how damaging it is and, you know, talking about how we all have equal rights in America, obviously. <laughs> it's so obvious, shouldn't even have to be mentioned. And he was saying that it's sad that I don't see the inequalities in America. I'm black, I'm telling you that I am an equal I am an equal, and you're white, telling me that I'm not. Who is the racist? You guys have to stop creating this because it's not fair. If anybody knows that there's equality in America, it's me. I've had people middle-aged white men with money not just give me jobs or whatever but actually look at me as a businesswoman that's respectable because I showed my drive and I showed my intelligence and anyone in this country is worthy anyone can be looked at and be given opportunity as a business partner you don't have to just be an employee in America if you're black if you're a hundred times darker skin than me people look at you as equals unless you continue to make yourself feel less than it's not fair I feel like when I'm walking in a grocery store or something now if somebody's black I have to be like extra nice because now I notice that they're black. Because the Lord knows if I was rude and I was having a bad day, all of a sudden I'm racist against my own color because <laughs> I'm not black enough or whatever. When I see white people, now I have to be extra nice because I'm assuming that in their minds, they think that I hate them. And it's not fair. It's not fair that there are children growing up thinking that they're different and thinking that they're less than I keep seeing photos with children with their fists in the air that's insane what would it have been if they had a flat hand in the air then they're racist but if it's the black symbol then it's okay for you to say that black lives matter or black people are worth it, you're insinuating that black lives don't matter and that you're trying to educate people. You're teaching young children that are growing up experiencing this world and this country for the first time that could have 100% confidence is self-worth and self-love they're you're teaching them that because of their skin color they're different and less than and inferior and it's not fair that's not the country that i'm going to allow people to turn it into it's not fair grow up and become accountable for yourself and your own life and don't drag everybody else down with you you're turning me into somebody that looks at people based on the color of their skin. You're making people racist and it's not fair. Because of your own insecurities, you've taken $150 million 
$10 away from LAPD. So now we're going to have less support and the murders are going to increase. What was the point of that? I've had enough. I've had enough of just sitting down and letting you guys change my country. I had to pull over to the side of the road on the highway because I cannot take this anymore. You guys need to fact check. You need to figure out why exactly you feel like George Floyd was murdered because of the color of his skin. Are you racist? Are your friends racist? Have you ever met anyone that's racist? Because I haven't. <laughs> and I know that prejudice exists, but are we murdering people because they're the opposite skin color? <laughs> You're welcome to prove me wrong, but please, please understand what you are doing what you're really saying. I know that you guys want to stand for something and you guys want to unite and you guys want to love, but unite against, unite for something that actually matters. It's going to change the world in a better place. If you guys actually used all of this energy to help the homeless or anything, anyone that really truly needs help, instead of making all this up you guys could actually be making a positive difference but I've had enough of this little game and it's not funny anymore and it's not fair to me or to the any of these other people in America that are intelligent and work hard and love people and don't look at each other based on their skin color it's not fair for you to put this in our brains like this America, do yourself a favor and wake up. Educate yourself and think through this before you just blindly walk into the streets and put your fists in the air. Of course, black lives matter. No fucking shit. We all know this. And if that's a new concept for you, then shame on you because you're obviously the one that needs to be looked at, but stop blaming everybody else. <laughs>